Good evening, I'm Shogh Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa witnessed today the 120 kilometer race of the first deputies president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and Captain of Khalidiya Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's championship. The race was held at Bahrain International Endurance Village under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon arrival to Bahrain International Endurance Village, His Majesty the King was received by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Khalid, the President of Brief and Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and members of Brief Board of Directors. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid briefed His Majesty the King on the race's stages, and His Majesty the King exchanged talks with 91 race participants, wishing them success and noting His Highness Sheikh Khalid's participation in the race. His Majesty the King hailed the remarkable efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid aimed at developing the endurance sports, noting the efforts of the President of Members of Brief in organizing the championship and ensuring its success through implementing development plans and programs for the sports. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the achievements of the Kingdom's riders in many regional and international participations, wishing the participants success in the upcoming competitions and championships. His Majesty the King received at the village the President of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, Gabriela Baron, and the Speaker of the Representatives' Council, Fawziya Zainal. His Majesty commended the continuous cooperation between the Bahrain Legislative Authority and the IPU, noting the joint keenness on enhancing coordination to achieve goals and aspirations. His Majesty also received the students of Bahrain School and the Italian Vincena School upon their visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty affirmed the importance of establishing brotherly relations between the two countries' youth, wishing them a pleasant stay in the Kingdom. The students expressed gratitude for receiving them, allowing their visit to the village, and expressing thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Khalid, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid for welcoming them. His Majesty received the President of the Bahrain Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, Mahmoud Faraj, who expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to the society. Then His Majesty the King, the President of the IPU, and the Speaker of the Representatives Council watched the race's competitions. His Majesty then congratulated the winning riders, praising their outstanding performances, which reflected their efforts in training and preparing for the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Khalid, in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid, then honored the winners.
in the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club held the 12th race of the season at the race course at Asghir. It was held for the Cups of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. Also present at the race were Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Muhammad bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Muhammad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Muhammad bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman Al Mayed, as well as horse racing fans. At the end of the race, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs presented the cups to the winners.
the Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the National Commission for Childhood, Jimmy Lehmedan, headed the Bahraini delegation participating in the 80th session of the Committee on the Rights of the Child held in Geneva to display and discuss the achievements of Bahrain in that regard. The committee enlisted two sessions in its program to display and discuss Bahrain's achievements, which presents all information and procedures taken to ensure children's rights, including education, freedom and health. Hamedan affirmed that the mechanisms and initiatives by entities concerned with children reached 79% of the National Strategic Work Plan for Children, launched in 2012. The minister added that Bahrain became one of the leading countries in the legalization of children's rights by issuing many legislations guaranteeing children's rights. A number of the committee members praised Bahrain's efforts in child protection, noting the level of national development initiatives the kingdom has implemented, including the National Plan of Child Care. The Kingdom of Bahrain has taken serious steps in protecting children and their rights, especially since the signing of the Child Rights Agreement in February 1992. Bahrain has been keen on achieving the agreement's terms to enable children's effective participation in society. In Bahrain, children's institutions, along with the legislative authority, give great importance to fulfilling the needs of children and to protecting them. This stems from the royal fatherly care of His Majesty the King for children, which sets a model for those working in the child care field. In belief that child rights are the foundation for ensuring human rights for the next generations, we recall the vital role of Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Samika bint Ibrahim al Khalifa, in making achievements that led to a qualitative leap in the field of motherhood and children by taking measures aimed at family empowerment. The Kingdom provides programs and services for children affairs, as Bahrain has been keen on education and has made it compulsory in the primary stage. It also provides the required health care and the development and updating of the legislative system regarding children and juveniles to coordinate with all national laws and international agreements. The Ministry of Labor and Social Development established the Child Protection Center in 2007 to protect children under 18 years old from abuse and neglect, which stems from its awareness of the importance of improving children's affairs, protecting their rights, and providing them with the required care. The Ministry of Labor and Social Development is developing mechanisms and initiatives with the concerned authorities within the National Child Strategy 2013-2018. The Kingdom's efforts continue to develop services and laws for children, provide awareness initiatives, increase their participation in society, and achieve sustainability.